In 2002, a unique partnership was established between a small school in the densely populated city of Kolkata in Bengal and the rural primary schools of Aberdeenshire in Scotland. This is a story and quest for the 21st century, which reveals long-standing international links between both countries and how new friendships have evolved through an arts education project examining the values of rivers, ecology, citizenship and sustainable transport. The project has been led as a collaboration by Kenny Munro, who has recognized the growing role of the arts to raise awareness and enable international communities to work together on projects of contemporary significance. Durga Puja is the biggest Bengali religious festival where people make images of the mother goddess Durga and her family and celebrate her victory of good over evil. One might ask, what could possibly connect these two diverse cultures, which are over 5,000 miles apart? Scots have been travelling to India for centuries, and conversely, essential goods have been traded from India to Scotland. History reveals that Asian families also travelled to and worked in Scotland as far back as the 19th century. A history which links us, the two schools connected also lived beside rivers, very different kinds of rivers. The River Dee is very fast, very mountainous, and also it's much smaller than your Bhutali River and the Ganga. But we share similarities in many ways. The water is essential for us. There are amazing creatures in each of the rivers. And we also share an interest in boats. The boat is the icon which links both our countries, both in terms of journeys and also in terms of skills. The catalyst for the initial scheme was driven by a community group in Balata, which was preparing to celebrate the 150th birthday of their famous son, Sir Patrick Geddes, who worked in India in the early 20th century, where he met Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
to go. Geddes, the botanist, was inspired by the Indian tradition to worship trees, both in a spiritual and practical sense. This unique boat was created and decorated by Bengali children in 2004 as a universal icon and gift to the people of Aberdeenshire. Once completed, a procession of Bengali bagpipers wove its way through the streets of Kolkata. So which part of the, the boat project did you enjoy most? In, uh, at night I enjoyed a lot of boat projects because I like to play in this model boat and it, uh, at the day it is too hot and in night we have, we have to play in, uh, in the room and, and it is interesting a lot. I would say that that if I could come there and enjoy and talk to the children of the Balata Primary School, I would be very happy to talk to them. I, w I wish I wish we could that I could talk to them and have fun and paint with them. I would like that very much. I want to thank Uncle Kenny uh, that you have uh, given us a great opportunity to connection with the uh, student of Scotland and a student of Ballater Primary School. We enjoy this project very much and I want to thank you. I will miss you very much. named Shunar Turi travelled to Scotland to be symbolically launched on Loch Kinod. Travel here and the Balata. In 2005, Kenny Munro returned to Bengal with the blessing of the Balata Geddes Group and the Royal Scottish Geographical Society. This second trip was to pursue the next phase of the creative fieldwork entitled Song of the Rickshaw, examining the theme of eco-friendly transport. Two new vehicles were commissioned and painted by the school, using the Kalikat style to merge tradition with contemporary interpretation. Rich, colourful festival traditions celebrating all life with diverse art forms have influenced the design and paint treatments on the rickshaws. Human rights regarding hand-pulled rickshaws have come under scrutiny by the Bengal government. These important topics have been raised within the schools. Nowadays, uh, those uh... Uh, those, uh, what do you say, those uh, transport we use, those are mainly, uh, those are pollute the air and this is totally pollution free. <laughs> The 
the school, the children, and Grand Pollock have worked endlessly to create special designs for the rickshaws, to create beautiful models, these fantastic models, and also the paintings that we can see on the right hand side here. They've made links with the children in Scotland with the boat project last year. These two rickshaws will also be sent to Scotland and of course I think the significance for young people is they can contrast and compare and gradually learn more about their friends abroad. If you had a message for the children in Scotland, what would you say to them? We want to meet them and we have to want to talk with them and we have to make fun. I like the rain very much. Uh, in the circles season, but not uh, every day. The two projects, The Language of Rivers and Leaves and Song of the Rickshaw, which have evolved over the last four years, reveal and celebrate extraordinary historical connections between both countries. And most importantly, the pupils, teachers and artists have constructed their own special international partnerships and activities to contrast and compare the lifestyle and societies they embrace in diverse geographical regions. <laughs>